A shootout in Stillwater and really a tale of two halves as the Missouri Tigers come up short in Big 12 play against Oklahoma State. This week in Mizzou football is next. We couldn't get anything going offensively in the second half. Uh, we continued to get some turnovers, which has really hurt us. You know, we had four, four to zero turnovers, and and we're um, you know not only we're turning the football over, but we're not getting any from our defense. So uh, there's uh, you know there's a lot of things out there that aren't uh, aren't, aren't going like they're supposed to, and we got to work and get them corrected. Tigers and the Cowboys from Stillwater, Oklahoma, Boone Pickens Stadium, and here we go, a Saturday night game, and Missouri with the football early in the first quarter. Tigers had it, and as they continue to do, really under Gary Pinkle's leadership, they strike early. Opening drive of the game, Blaine Gabbert to Denario Alexander, a sign of things to come for those two. Seven-yard gain as Denario had another big night, and he ran the ball well early, especially in the first half. Coach Devin Moore here with the carry for eight yards. Well, we're executing. You know, we're, we're blocking well, we're throwing, we're catching. Um, that's, that's how offense works. It's a nice long throw to Denario, good route. Uh, I think that was for uh, about uh, 34, 34 yards. yards. So that was, a, that was a good shot for us. And, you know, we just got some great execution going. And, and uh, you know, Blaine's playing a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, not 100%, but, uh, you know, doing a pretty good job. Yeah, Gabbert uh, fighting through that ankle injury and the handoff to Derek Washington up the middle for nine. That would set up a field goal attempt of 21 yards from Grant Russell. It's good. And Mizzou up 3 nothing. just three and a half minutes into the game. Yeah, I wish we could have got the ball in the end zone. Left the ball inside the five, which is disappointing. But, uh, you know, we came away with field goal points, which is important. So the Cowboys come back, and uh, early in the game, they go for it on a fourth and one at your 42, and Keith Toaston barely got the first down, but he did to keep that opening drive alive for OSU. A generous, generous spot there, <laughs> but, you know, that's, that's the way it is. It's, Spoon makes a nice tackle there on the uh, bubble screen. Second and five now at the 36, and it's Zach Robinson, the quarterback, keeping the football, and he's stopped by Carl Geddes and Kenja Jackson. He had some good leverage there. We did, we did a pretty good job right there. And uh, you know, right here we just have a missed tackle. That's you know, that's a seven-yard gain that turns into a 24-yard gain just because of a tackle. And uh, that's 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 obviously disappointing. Big difference, of course. And Toaston then carries it across. OSU seven, Mizzou three. Midway through the first quarter, 10-play, 80-yard drive for the Cowboys. Well, this is a tough league. You know, no, they're a top 15 team, and you get out and play at their place. You're, you're, it's going to be a battle, and, and we understood that going into it. Wes Kemp makes the reception there on a 40-yard pass from Gabbard. Yeah, well, that was nice. And again, you know, we're, we're, we're executing well. We're blocking well. We're throwing. Derek Washington's running the ball really, really well. Did some downfield blocking. And uh, when you do that offensively, it's amazing, amazing how well things work. Missed on a fourth and four throw there. Gabbard there uh, had it uh, sail over his receiver. So OSU gets it back on downs. We're out of field goal range right there. And then you got to throw it for fourth down. If you don't convert it, uh, you know, obviously you, you come away with no points. That, that's... That happened to a couple times yesterday. Luke Lambert makes the stop here as uh, Bo Johnson tries to run for OSU. So the defense settling in a bit to really on both sides there. And here comes Gabbert to Denario Alexander. And we've seen him on these crossing patterns be so effective over the years. And a couple more big plays like that in Stillwater. And he can turn a 20-yard gain into a 40-yard gain in, in a heartbeat. And you know, probably J-Mac could do that. J-Mac could do those <laughs> kind of things. And, uh, and I know that's a heck of a comparison. But, uh, Different type of receivers, but they still can make good plays. Second and four here at the Cowboy 31, and it's Gabbert to Jared Perry. Nice uh, catch by Perry, wasn't it, Coach, as he turned back to grab that ball for a 23-yard yeah, game? it was a nice throw. When he throws the ball back like that, he just, he's trying to hold him in that zone and not lead him into the safety. Change ends of the field as we move to the second quarter. Washington scores. Mizzou takes the lead 10-7 early in that second quarter. Just a uh, good execution. Uh, now the defense gets the ball back to us again. Uh, which was really good on their part, and uh, we have a tip football, and it goes into just, you know, it's a critical, critical play. It's, uh, and we always just tell all our receivers and running backs, you can't tip the football. It's just, it's not allowed to happen, and that's why. Uh, all of a sudden, we give them a seven, seven points. OSU then had regained the lead with that score at 14-10, but the Tigers come back, Gabbert to Alexander for eight yards. And then it's Gabbard to the running back, uh, Derek Washington, who was out wide there for six. And you're moving the ball again. Uh, second and four here. Washington carries for eight over the left side. Just really have a really good mix of run and pass. You know, when you're executing, uh, that certainly helps, helps you. And uh, now we come across and we get a get hit De Niro on a, just a great throw. And obviously De Niro, I said before, could turn a... Uh, it could 
turn into a you know big play real quick. There it is, a 48-yard touchdown, and he carried it in the final 30 yards as you'll see the strike from Gabbert to Alexander and watch the run by Missouri's senior and co-captain as he finds the end zone, shedding tacklers along the way. Well, yeah, it's nice to see him healthy. Uh, he's been through an awful lot. People have no idea the work he's put in to get himself back to playing football with his injuries. And, uh, Xavier Good and a freshman, really, uh, uh, really nice Brian Coulter coming uh, out there on that pitch and the option. Yeah, this is a loss of five with the tackle uh, by Gooden, the help from Coulter along the way. Mizzou up 17-14 here. Robinson, though, comes back and finds Schubert Antium on the right side. That's a 17-yard gain on a third and eight to keep OSU's drive alive. Well, you know, we had, we had it taken care of pretty good there, but what happened was we, they underthrew it. That's a, good, a very experienced quarterback, very good player. Spoon makes the stop, so Dan Bailey is on for a field goal. It's good, and it's a 17-17 game, about three and a half to play in the first half. OSU gets it back, Gary, and they're going to try to score one last time here before the intermission. Yeah, we had a missed tackle right there. That could have been a six, seven yard gain, and uh, but missed tackles really, really are costly. They turn average plays into big plays, and um, here's Zach uh, Robinson uh, scrambling. You know, really good football player, senior, very experienced player. You know, he's been has had has had his up and downs as a quarterback, but uh, certainly is a really, really a good uh, player. Missouri's defense uh, trying to prevent a touchdown here late in the half. Robinson, though, finds Aniam, and he just gets across the goal line on that eight-yard score on a third and seven. And OSU had taken a 24-17 lead, and that would be the score, Coach, at halftime. But, uh, you know, other than one glaring turnover in particular, which obviously led to their touchdown, that interception, the, the, you're right there in the ball game, a seven-point difference at their place at, at halftime. And a lot of folks watching thought it would kind of be a back-and-forth game, much as it played out through one half. Yeah, and, and uh, at the end there, that, was, that, that last slant pass was a, with three seconds left in the half. So, uh, um, you know, we'd really given a little bit too much yardage up the first half on defense. Offensively, we were executing pretty good. And then the second half, uh, you know, a couple more mistakes and some other things that, uh, that you can't do if you want to win a football game. 